social media that he's recovering from the medical condition that sent him to the hospital in April. He didn't disclose the illness. The legal saga surrounding Sean Diddy Combs is full of twists and old secrets that want to come to the surface. Recently, the comedian Cat Williams stepped forward to reveal yet another shocking accusation against the music mogul that have sent ripples through the entertainment industry. Williams alleges that Diddy was plotting against his old pal Jimmy Fox because the man was talking too much about the industry's secret that should have stayed hidden. According to Williams, Fox held damaging information about Diddy's freak-off parties, potentially threatening Diddy's carefully curated image. In addition, an old video clip where Jamie narrates how Diddy tried to confront him because he revealed some dirt on J-Lo, who was dating the bad boy at that time. Puffy tried to roll up on me. Blame him. It was, it was actually Jennifer that was mad at me. But he was just trying to come to her, you know, honor. As Cat Williams claims, Fox was walking on thin ice, thinking that his friendship with Puffy made him truly untouchable, and the music mogul was carefully watching what the actor was saying in the public, ready to make the hit when things get wild. I mean, Jamie has not shied away from sharing glimpses into the hedonistic world of Diddy's gatherings. I would hang out and watch him throw parties. He threw a party and said, yo, playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars. I'm like, you are out of your mind. Fox admitted to not just being a passive observer, but actively documenting all the shenanigans. And apparently, he became the music mogul's cameraman, in addition to all the cameras hidden all over Diddy's mansions. But he wasn't the only one gathering juicy info. For over three decades, Cat Williams has been collecting information, a treasure trove of secrets and knowledge that could unsettle many. I know so many things I should know, and they all know it. So when all of a sudden Jamie Foxx's health took a scary dive last year, the comedian was the only person in the industry trolled, unshaken, by the shocking news. Rumors had it that Diddy may have played a role in the health scare, trying to delete another inconvenient witness of his crimes. This wouldn't be the first time Diddy's faced accusations like this. There have been whispers that he might have been involved in bad situations with his ex-girlfriend Kim Porter, whose unfinished tell all book about the industry never saw the light. The same goes for other people who were about to expose big secrets about Diddy and then suddenly got very sick. Jamie Foxx and I'll be sure are just two examples out of many. In addition, after his health scare, Jamie Foxx posted a message that made people think he was talking about being targeted for knowing too much. Uh, from now on and every once in a while, I just burst into tears is because... Um... This has led to more speculation about his and Diddy's relationship. The pattern of sudden illness among many celebs close to the bad boy, CO, followed by intense battles for their lives, raises haunting questions about the lengths Sean Combs is ready to go to keep his secrets. As Jamie Foxx mentioned in his post-recovery message, I wouldn't wish what I went through on my worst enemy because it's tough when it's almost over, when you see the tunnel. I saw the tunnel, I didn't see the light. The relationship and secrets between Diddy and Jamie Foxx are now under intense scrutiny, with more shady stories and footage surfacing that prove that the actor was almost deleted for knowing too much. Before his mysterious illness, he was quite the storyteller about Diddy's extravagant gatherings, revealing that the music mogul once allowed him to bring a large, conspicuous camera to document the wildest moments. I need you to come meet him. I need this for my camera. Dr. Ruth and Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel pool dance, doing their thing, right? But here's the thing. It's now being wildly speculated that Jamie Foxx was just another enabler in Diddy's schemes. And apart from partying hard along the music mogul, he was also using his influence and weight in the industry to help others with their careers, apparently, like Diddy has been helping Cassie for more than a decade. Now, Jamie Foxx is no stranger to give young celebs a helping hand as well early on in their careers. Thus, once he revealed that he allowed Ed Sheeran and Nick Cannon to sleep on his couch. But the actor never mentioned the age of his guests, unlike Diddy, who used to brag about living with Usher and Justin Bieber. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you saying? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. This story raised a lot of eyebrows among fans and drew comparisons to other instances where young artists spent time with older industry figures, leading to speculation about the nature of these relationships. I had Ed Sheeran sleep on my couch for six weeks. Before he made it, he came to my crib. So did Anthony Hamilton, Nick Cannon, all these people. You gotta press anybody that's got that artistic feel, that touch, you've got to lift them up. Sounds very familiar to Diddy's experience with Usher and Justin, who were still of school age while they crashed at Bad Boy's place, and the music mogul used every single tool to his possession to lift their careers, if you what I mean. If I'm thinking about another man, I'm thinking about uplifting. No wonder when all these stories started to surface, it didn't take much for people to connect the dots. And now Jamie's name is being added to the long list of mysterious tragedies that have rocked the show biz ever since Diddy stepped into spotlight. As one person commented, Jamie Foxx, Kim Porter, Al B, Sure, Heavy D, Tupac, Biggie Smalls, the list goes on and on. And another user added, 
Diddy was untouchable because everyone knew about it. What he and his sick mates are into reaches all branches of the elite class further stirring the pot in close connection of Diddy and Jamie Foxx. Cat Williams brought up the shocking story and alleged affair between Jamie and his label artist, Marquez Anthony, in 2012. Williams claimed to be privy to many secrets, including those of celebrities' intimate lives. 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. Cat Williams' behavior became increasingly erratic over the past few months with his bold claims of all dirty secrets to be revealed. However, while the rest of the world starts to wake up and that the nightmares of the showbiz are real, the comedian was telling the same stories years ago. In his comedy rant, he exposed Jamie's intimate relationship with a man saying, who's deal? Jamie Foxx. I can even tell you the name of the dude he effed. His name is Marcus Anthony. He's the only dude signed to Jamie Foxx's label. The speculation reached new heights with a TikTok revelation about so-called naked basketball games hosted by Jamie Foxx, with Diddy and other celebrities allegedly participating. This claim suggesting private men only gatherings has captured the public's attention amidst Jamie's battle for his life. He would invite over a lot of like Hollywood elite to his house for a basketball game, but it was men only. And they would be like, oh, we're just gonna get- But if you look at Jamie's past actions and especially what he was saying, there's no wonder he had some big tragedy coming into his life. An old clip recently resurfaced showing Jamie sharing a wild story about the time Diddy almost came at him over a joke. As one observer on X wrote, if Yad didn't know, Jamie Foxx was really a savage doing stand-up comedy back in the day. Here's a story about him getting pressed by Diddy because he joked on ESNL about J-Lo not being able to sing the ending is Sue's off. Sounds like Jamie knew. In this clip, Fox recounts an encounter with Diddy, who was upset over Fox's jokes about Jennifer Lopez on Saturday Night Live, particularly regarding her singing abilities. Doing some jokes on Saturday Night Live about, you know, Puffy and Jennifer, and she got mad. I saw her at the Grammys. But here's the kicker. Jamie revealed it was J-Lo who was actually upset with him, not Diddy. The encounter at the Grammys turns awkward when J-Lo gives Jamie the cold shoulder for his jokes. However, the past is in the past, and even Jennifer sent her co-star warm wishes during his mystery illness. But guess who remained silent all along? None other Sean Diddy Combs, who reportedly wait, waited for Jamie to pass away, like it happened with so many people before. Luckily, the actor's family took the matters on their own hands and limited all contact with Jamie until full recovery, which probably, as Jamie later admitted, saved his life. I tell you, I had some people uh, in my life that really made sure I was here. While Jamie's health scare may remain another unsolved enigma of the decade, Cat Williams is not willing to let all these predators get away so easily, particularly pointing out the odd nature of Diddy's parties and his interactions with artists. With Jamie once laid up in the hospital fighting for his life and Diddy staying eerily silent, whispers of betrayal are in the air. Fans are now trying to connect the dots, pondering if there's more to the story between Jamie and Diddy. Was there an attempt to silence Fox feared for knowing too much about the infamous freak-off parties or perhaps for holding onto tapes that could blow the lid off Diddy's tightly sealed can of secrets? Opinion differ. As one person commented, Jamie, what happened? Tell us. Or tell authorities so we can make sure nobody else has to go through that mess like you did. And another user added, Diddy gave him a warning wake-up call because if he wanted him demised, he'd be demised. The saga of Diddy and Jamie Foxx, which was haunting the public the last year, is actually far from over. With every new revelation, it looks like Diddy's sinking even deeper in his vile criminal activities. But folks, what do you think about all this? Did the bad boy really try to delete Jimmy Fox because he knows too much? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to check my other videos.